Hey, what is going on, everybody? It is me, Clear, and I am back for another custom LEGO minifigure showcase video. And for this video, after three months, I finally have a Force Awakens minifigure. And for this video, I have Kylo Ren, the, um, the, um, apprentice sith of the film so yeah guys it took me a lot of work i think that on youtube and on Flickr, i am the person who put the most sculpting i sculpted pretty much entirely the head i sculpted i sculpted the waist cape and onto the lightsaber so yeah guys without further ado i'm going to go ahead and show you guys this force awakens minifigure Alright, so pretty much, let's just get started and get the lightsaber out of the way. So, here he's his cross guard saber. Let me just pull it off really quickly. Um, and pretty much everything about this is I use toothpicks. So, a couple people on Flickr, I'm going to get that looks good. I sculpted it. Um, first of all, this was not a black lightsaber. I painted it so it would match my paint color I have. And, um, and then I just painted the uh, toothpicks and the clay uh, which was uh, green stuff now you may consider this to be too long but actually I think I have one up here it's not overly long um if I uh, if um yeah I do um if you compare it to an actual lightsaber blade it's it's really about the length of one not pushed in so it's really not overly long um and if you look at the cross guard saber, it really is pretty long, and I think people underscale theirs, um, but it is just, you know, about as tall as him, if not taller. Um, but, so yeah, I have here Kylo. Uh, first of all, this is not like a mask or anything, it's a 100% sculpt on the face. Um, so let's see here. So yeah, there is a better look at his head. Um, I think it looks really good. Uh, I really tried to get the details in there on the mask. I really like how the head turned out. The hood could have gone a bit smoother, um, but I really do think he still looks awesome. Uh, the torso was probably one of the easiest parts. Um, all it took was some electrical tape and then a little bit of sculpting on the torso. So really I sculpted on every uh, part of the body except for the arms and the arms. Uh, I actually, I went to Walmart, and I believe it was Folk Art Paint. Um, it was this, um, sparkling, it was still acrylic, it's a sparkling black. And so, I, I'm trying to find a different black color that would match it, that would still show up. Um, and it wanted it to still be black, so I found that. And when I get home, you know, I'm pulling it out to start painting. And it turns out white with sparkles, so I'm like, ah, oh, this isn't, no. So, I go ahead and I pour a little bit out to see, you know, what would happen. So I leave after working on some other stuff, and I come back, and as it dries, it turns black. So, it showed up white, and I don't have a picture, I wish I kind of did, um, but... It's a pretty amazing feature, and then I sculpted the cape, um, it's actually four pieces, um... Yeah, I know that his legs don't really look like that. His his it's not really like that, but you know, this is how I ended up doing it. So, and I did sculpt on the back as well. Um I sculpted a cape to just kind of go along with the theme and give it the right feel and not a cloth feel. Um so yeah, that's pretty much it for Kylo. Um yeah, he was a super amazing awesome figure to make. Um, I sculpted on every part except for the, um, arms, and, um, the, the painting was super easy. It was basic, it was all black, um, the silver and, you know, the sparkling black, and that was just about it, unless you're cutting the red from the cross guard saber, but he looks pretty awesome, and I, I really liked incorporating a lot of sculpting onto this figure, so... Yeah, um, that is it. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Alright guys, now for those of you who stayed around until this last clip are going to get something super awesome. But I just want to remind you guys to give, drop me a comment below of 
what your favorite part of this figure was, and if you, th like, give it on a scale of 1 to 10, how much did you like this Kylo Ren? Uh, for me, he would have to probably be an 8, and because I know that I still need to work on my painting skills a little bit, and that the sculpting work could have went a little bit smoother on the hood and the legs, but I really do like the overall turnout of this custom minifigure, and um, a like, a comment, and a subscription would be really awesome, and um, I'm really happy to get back into these showcases. So, in the next showcase is going to be on this figure that I'm about to show you. This is a sneak peek until... You will not see this figure until the 18th. Uh, the 18th, yeah. Uh, sometime, like... See, I'm seeing it on... It I think it releases Friday, so it'll be the day before that. So it'd be Thursday night or sometime during Thursday. Um, so yeah, here's a look at my Clavius figure. Um, there's all you're going to get until the 18th. So please subscribe and then you guys will get a, a, a full look at this Clavius figure. So without further ado, guys, I'm going to go and I will see you all in the next video.